Step right up, folks! Your dream come true! Give a wedgie just 25 cents! Wedgies? Welcome back to the Wedgie Club. I am your lovely wedgie host, Jocktavius, and we are back again for another video. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. Please make sure to take care of yourselves, and let's get on to the video. In today's video, what we'll be discussing is a recent episode of the reality show Big Brother. Now, I will personally put a disclaimer out here and say that I have never watched this show. I may have seen clips over the years here and there. <laughs> but I have never actually sat down and watched the full episode. Until now. It's season 25 and episode three. It's the first veto competition of the summer. Will the Golden Power save one of the nominees? Plus the gear kicks in and I don't feel like reading this. It is the first challenge of the season. The contestants are running in, they are happy, they are excited. Let's hear how long this excitement lasts when they hear the challenge. So I know y'all, I really tried to get y'all a really good stream, so if it cuts out on certain words, I'm telling you in advance. That's why today you will all get the privilege of experiencing <laughs> Now I want you to look at all the girls' responses. Though I am sure they're not thrilled, I'm sure they also have to deal with this anyway with thongs and different types of underwear. The everyday man usually doesn't wear tight-fitting clothes or things that could give them wedgies. So for him, he's already thinking about how to explain his bad choice of underwear. Like Briss! On go, sharks humiliated at any moment when you are hoisted in the air high. Bottom of the ocean, you are now in And I have a oh, she's not playing with them at all. She said, oh, I got to be wedged up there? I'm getting my... Now I am not going to lie to y'all. My money's on him. I don't know why, but I just get wedgie nerve vibes from him. And if I am wrong, y'all have every right to give me a wedgie after this video. But I'm usually not wrong. So let's see how this competition goes. Hopefully I get to keep my undies. Okay, but did y'all see how happy he got when they went in the air? He was definitely Atomic Wedgie Boy growing up. I was Mr. Atomic Wedgie. My apologies, he is definitely all grown up now. He is officially Mr. Atomic Wedgies. I'm trying to figure out how both challenges I've been a part of since this game started have been cumulivers humiliating. I mean, she's not lying, y'all. You got one that's literally doubled open and the other one is holding on to dear life by the hanging mechanism. It's embarrassing. Now, Kirsten, I know you ain't from this side of the tracks, but there is a man right now in a wedgie fetish that's ready to risk it all for you. And before you go running off and to find her social media, we've had this conversation. She's not part of the community. Don't do it. I'm not gonna lie to you, as someone who is also afraid of heights, having a hang wedgie that high is pretty scary. I also have to agree with her saying Big Brother has a handful of her underwear because, girl, they got you high. How dare you, Big Brother? Marty sprayed in the eye, yanked by my undies, and at the same time, I have to try to stack 35 flowers on a skinny little base. Seriously? Big Brother is definitely putting their contestants through this challenge. I still got money on he some, but this challenge can go anywhere at this point. Now I know Grandma ain't too fond of having her granny panties hoisted up into the air, but ma'am, why are her fists so bald? This is all I could think about when she did that. So at this point, you can definitely tell that they are sick of this shit. They are ready to go home and they are just ready for whoever to win to fucking win. The game is starting to get tight. People are starting to stack their blocks. Y'all, she is really not trying to lose this challenge. Drop down in the comments who you think will win between the two, Riley or Kirsten. Woo! 
Now, I know I made fun of him in the beginning, but I did some research on him because I do like his character on the show and found out that he's an actual doctor in real life. No matter how much shit I talk, I want y'all to always remember something. It is not about what other people think about you, but how you react to it that truly defines who you are. Thank you for coming to my video.